was possibly the most scary thing that's ever happened to me. What's up everybody, welcome back to Giga Gang Gaming, the place where it's all fun and games. And I did not stay indoors all night. I uh, stayed in quite a bit actually, but I'd managed to come outside. And from what you've just seen at the start of this episode, uh, I, I nearly died. And I nearly lost my soul as well because that scared the living bejeebus out of me. Um, so what I've been doing tonight, uh, well last night I should say, after finding potatoes are brilliant for food. I cooked a load of them, I've eaten like eight of them already. So I've got my food up, I've got my water up, I've got plenty of water now. I've got 12 here, I've got 15 empty cans to fill up with water and I've got another eight or nine cans full of water inside there. I can't boil uh, bottled water, which is much better than canned water. I think you get roughly 20... 20? You get roughly double the amount of um, water from the glass bottles. So I should uh, start using those, but I need a cooking pot. I still need a cooking pot. I've just been working on this, trying to build this the base of the base out but now i believe i can move on because while the day is up we can kind of do a mission so let's do this mission over here activate this this can wait until maybe night time or uh, i don't know but any chance to try and find a cooking pot has got to be taken because while the food that we're eating at the moment isn't too bad we are soon going to run out of it it won't last long I'm not seeing animals very much, so I will run out of meat pretty soon. Uh, I can't, I've, I've got no idea how to plant vegetables or anything like that, so anything else, I haven't found any other food sources. I've just got to rely on meat at the moment, and uh, hope, hopefully, if we find a cooking pot, we can rely on meat a little bit more. But for now, what we've got to do... Is, ooh. Empty all the bird's nests that we find and take all the eggs that we can get. Because when we can cook that meat, we want to cook it with eggs for eggs and bacon. And we will be set for a, quite a while for our food needs. And uh, let's make use of this water here. Fill up those metal things, whatever they are. Canisters, cans. Uh, let's kill a zombie while we're here as well. I wouldn't want to come up against many of them. What is this? I do not know this place. Oh god, there's zombies everywhere. Tell you what, it's a joy to have... Oh, I was going to say, it's a joy to have your stamina back. But then I realised that I've run out of stamina, so... Yeah. Stay away. Damn, hussy. Done. Okay. Uh, there's bird nest here. Two more eggs. Excellent. Okay, let's see what we can get from this place. Uh, does that... Yes, the bird nest reinstates, refills. Good. Let's go inside. It's glass? Yeah, that's glass. Right, I am going to have to be sneaky. God damn it, really? My well, bows aren't killing you guys. Well, bow skills have got good. Okay, so you got some nice bits there. You got. Um, I'd rather have that for now. Bartering can go up 10% every now and again. Slightly less armor rating, but noise increase is down. Stamina is down. Explosion resistance is better. Let's modify this and take the light out and stick it in there. And that works better for me. I can sell that mining helmet now. I don't need it. Take you as well and just scrap you down for that extra bit of clay. This is, uh... These new POIs are definitely interesting. See you later, lad technician. Oh, crap. The lady woke up. Now she's dead. Could we find a cooking pot in this kitchen? Blueberry jam schematic? I'm going to read you. 
I can make blueberry jam. Yes. Cooking pot. There we go, guys. We have the cooking pot. We should be. And might want to not jinx it yet, but we should be all right on the food front. All right, we're going upstairs. Good, good. All dead. Lots of dead bodies, but nothing of any worth. You, sir. Get wrecked. That there. Oh, a double barrel shotgun book, but we've already read that. So we can scrap it or sell it. Probably scrap it. Do we want those schematics? Still can't remember what they do, but I want them. Oh, here we go. There's a lady there. Oi, lady. Bad. Lady. And death to you. Move up a floor. Um, Really? No one in here? Another cooking pot. It's always the way with seven days to die. Once you found one, you found them all. Ooh, another book. Working stiffs. Another tanning rack. Not sure what that does. Iron doors. Useful. Ooh, landmines. I'm going to blow up some zombies. I am getting slowly more cucumber, but because of the amount of room that you have, it doesn't really matter. And right at the top is your courier satchel. Grand. Okay, that POI wasn't too bad. Is there anything up there? Is, should I be going up there? Maybe not. Let's get back. Hand in this mission back to Trader Hugh, I believe it was. Um, if I can get out of here. And I'm already... See, I'm already running low on food again. God damn it. I need some farms. Why am I... This desert star is terrible. Piggy dropped a loot bag. That's a new one. A baby boar. What's this do? Nice and safe back. I don't know what to do with this baby pig. I can't sell it. So I'm just going to stick everything back in here. And I don't know. I'll work out what to do with that later on. Let's go talk to Hugh. See what he's got. Sell some stuff. Well, look what the cat Scrap Iron did. Club. Better than better the one I've got. Point. Um, Jars of honey. Yeah, I'd say that's the best thing I want. You got a selling box here, Trader Hugh. There you go, cabinet. You sell that, that, and that. They're all worth lots of doll hairs that you won't give me, you dick. Now that's all done, what I'm going to do is craft a couple of storage boxes. Because the storage in this place is a bit rubbish and it's annoying me having to work out what's in what. So two really big storage boxes... Hello, lady. Uh, eh. Go. Oh, you're not dead. And uh, you know where I am as well. <laughs> Your head went splat. Ooh, a knife. Loot bag, loot bag. Ooh, bicycle handlebars. Very good, very nice. Alright, now we've got these cooking pots inside here. Where's mum? All my foods is inside here. Got all my meat. Lots of eggs. I do believe that is all I need. Oh, we need animal fat. Ugh. Cooking got hard. Bacon and eggs, we can make seven. What's holding us back? The meat. Because it costs three raw meat, two eggs, and one animal fat. So with eggs, we've got 12 left. Animal fat, we've got 18. It's just the meat that is holding us back. While those are cooking, we can also cook another stack of boiled water. That's perfect. Now, how much food does this give us? 15. With minus two water? 
Not ideal, but that will have to do. We've still got four jacket potatoes, which is very nice, very nice. And let's see if we can get another trade, uh, another mission off Hugh. Has he got any good ones? No, not that. What you got? They're all fetches. So let's take the closest one. Takes the least time. It's straight that way, so it's not going to be something that we've looted before. Yeah, we've got the food and the water to do it. And... Yeah, that shouldn't be too bad. Right, where are we? Oh, it's the passing gas. We went by here before, didn't we? Just yesteryear. You're dead. Oh, there's... Resources there. I want those first. Dig those up before anything really happens. Uh, let's also check the cars and the pumps for any gas, because we might need this sort of stuff later on. Okay, that'll do. Reset that and uh, get some more cobble. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. We have missions. Missions? We have skill points. That's what we have, not missions. We have missions as well, but skill points, more importantly. Minus 69er, we can go into that. Humble Pete? Is that the one we were after? Yes. I'm going to go with yes. What else can we do? We haven't used shotguns, so we can't do that. Quality Joe, maybe, so we get better things from things. Tool crafting, better quality tools, and weapon crafting, melee weapons and bows. I'll put one into that, and I'll put one into that. Excellent. Oh, it's going grey. It's going grey. The world is going grey, but this is not good. Oh, it's a storm. Bugger. Right, despite it being grey and horrible, we are going to go inside. Move that, and that one as well, because that's going to wake some stuff up that we don't want to wake up. Am I behind here? There's other zombies. She was never to, meant to get sneaked upon. But her head did explode. Lots of dolls. And their hairs, even more dolls and hairs. Also, lots of uh, bookshelves here. Lots of things to read. What a good place for loot. Read a couple of these ones. What we got? Um, no, I didn't tell you. Okay, forge ahead. We've got bow schematic. We've got scrap armor schematic and iron armor schematic. Today has been a good day. A very successful day. All this reading. I'm going to be super smart. Ooh, there's a zombie there. So her, saw her trying to get through. Please get your butt out of the shelves, please. I'd like to hit you in the head. The honey, anything hiding in here? Oh, wait. <gasps> A secret doorway. Ooh, nasty lady. Ow. Kindly die. Thank you for leaving me some loot as well. Jeans. Really? Right, okay. There's a little bit of loot in here. And uh, more importantly, cobbly wobble. Let's grab all this stuff and then we can move upstairs. Hopefully find some more good loot. Finally, back off. Assholes. Oh, yeah. Okay. We've got a workbench schematic. Oh, did we even re already le read one of these? Unlocks the workbench's perk by one level per book. You can get better levels of workbench. Oh. I'm going to be a workbench master. Oh. Let's 
Courier Satchel. Yes, we have the White River supplies. We may leave this place, but there is more loot up here that I want. Oh, the sun's come out. Where's the sun? Straight up. Okay, we've got plenty of time. What have we got here? We've got a man over there. He can die. Thank you. I believe there's more than one, though. Yes. There's also his partner in crime. Dodging arrows. And here is the loot. Eh. Really? I think maybe the books in the place were better than the loot we found. Dance, zombie, dance! Tin food that I can't eat. Because it'll give me food poisoning. And a lady stuck in a toilet. A vampire lady. It says she's a businesswoman. I don't believe her. Businesswoman of the night. Loads of things that I can't eat, but these two books are very nice. Hobbs and a meat stew recipe. That sounds better than what I've been eating this entire time. I see legs there. Die, scientist lady. You did a shit job of surviving this world. I want those cans. Beer. There's beer in there. Let's grab this little bit of cobblestone that we found here. And then go back to the Trader Hugh and it might be close to night time as well. I have no idea what time it is. See if we can find a working uh, a working vending machine. Be good. Hey Hugh! What you got for me? What you AR-15 semi-auto rifle. Or leg leather leg armour. I'm going to take the rifle, mate. I've got to, really. And then, I've got a lot of stuff to sell you. You might not want to buy it, though. Oh, no, no, no. Don't sell the books. Scrap the books. Okay, that's everything dealt with so far. We do have all this meat. Bacon and eggs. And all this boiled canned water. I can actually stop relying on that now, because... I can boil glass jars of water. That's one boiled water. Where's all my glass jars gone? Oh, there they are. Murky water. I filled them with murky water. You stupid gig. You're actually a dum dum. There, you got nearly 11. Cook them all. Thank you. You are very kind. Now, that is going to be much better than these canned waters that I've got here. But I'll still keep the cans of water just in case for backup. And maybe I'll need those for later on. They might need might be used for something. But for today, that's I'm not going to take another mission off Trader Hugh. What I want to do is get a bit more of this base built out. Because it is day three. And I'm nowhere near building our horde base. Or having it ready anyway. Get lost, you. I ain't got the time. Take your loot, though. Yeah. Should I? Uh, so I've upgraded my tools. Let's start digging a bit and uh, let's see how far I can get before that sun goes down on me. Oh, there's the nighttime sound. I don't like that sound. Look, there's already a zombie inside the flipping trader. What are you doing in there? Right, so I've done quite a little bit of digging, actually. I've built out quite a bit. I'm just about to finish off that mission. Uh, the next one is craft scrap iron tools, which I do believe I can do. I also got a skill point. Yay. Uh, that can go into minor 69er again. So a 30% increase harvest count with mining tools. What? Increase harvest count with mining tools by 60%. Decrease stamina usage with mining tools by 30%. And increase damage of mining tools to blocks by 60%. Very, very good. And I'm flying up my mining tools level. That's excellent. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave you here, guys. I'm going to try and mine a little bit out here. I know it's dangerous. But I really want to get the base of this built so I can start doing like proper stuff. I also need to put together some 
cobblestone shapes to. But uh, that can wait for the time being. I don't seem to be doing more damage to these... To the soil or anything like that with these blocks, with these uh, these attacks. Even though I've got points in to minus 69er. I'm a little bit confused by that. I don't understand it. But I hope you've enjoyed this episode, guys. We've done quite a bit today. We've sorted out our food shortage issues. We've also done two missions for Trader Hugh. So he should be happy with us. And we've got quite a bit further gone with this base. It is rather big. Might be uh, regretting building such a large base uh, on such a, a difficult mod, shall I say. But hope, hopefully things get a little bit easier for us in the next day or two and we can get a little bit further. Uh, this guy is getting a little bit too close so you can die or lose your arm. You're not dead. You didn't die then. Or did you die? Huh. Maybe you did die. Awesome. So remember to keep it all fun and games guys. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye. <laughs>